crafting from my cauldron challenge host kiki diy go check her out tell her crafty leaning sent you okay we're gonna start with cutting these bow of feathers i got a bunch of these from the dollar tree in these little jars and put some inside this little jar with some tulle wrapped around it you can use any color but i like the purple I'm using this lace ribbon I got from Walmart and I just cut a little piece and put it right along the edge of the cap of the jar see that yay these are quick simple fast easy Dollar Tree ornaments Halloween ornaments I just cut the tip of that little hat that I got from the Dollar Tree. You get a little pack of them. And some twine, or baker's twine, excuse me. And I just put a knot, put it through the hole, put a little bit of glue, pulled it so it'll hold, and put it right on top of the lid of the jar. Easy as that, guys. I got this little rhinestone chain. I get this from BB Craft. You get 10 yards of it. I'll leave that in description below. And it goes a long way. I've done quite a bit of projects with it. So, and it's nice quality, very shiny. I put it around the rim of the hat and I also put it alongside the cap of the jar. Now this ornament here, I'm just going to remove the top and I got some of this creepy cloth, cheese cloth, creepy cloth at the Dollar Tree, from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just taking a little piece of it and I put some Mod Podge and uh, this was fun and I just soaked it up with the Mod Podge. I open it and then you put it right over the bulb and let it dry you want it to hang some on the bottom just to give it a creepy look and I've just laid it down and let it dry and there you go see I got this little spider and I'm just gonna put it right up on top you can actually put it anywhere you like whatever your heart desires and whatever makes your eyes smile so this one here number three I am just going to add some of that Spanish moss and mix it up with some deer moss inside the jar. And I'm going to put these little skulls and bones inside. And all this came from the Dollar Tree. I don't know, I get, thought it gave it like the spooky, creepy look. <laughs> I think this one was my favorite. So this here is a netting. Yes, the netting is from the garlic cloves when you buy garlic cloves. And I'm always saving my netting for onions and garlic cloves and tomatoes. Well, that's what this is from. And I just got some of that baker's twine and put it right on through the little holes on the top. I pulled it over I'm gonna take it one more time off put some glue in the center and place it where I want it press down on that just to make sure it stays really nice and now I'm just gonna flip the jar over gather it in the middle put some hot glue gather it in the middle and press down careful for your fingers because it is hot And I put a little bit more on top and press down on it again. And there you have it. This is creepy cloth I put, I just cut a little piece and I wrapped it around the jar like a bow, kind of just a knot, double knotted it, fluffed it out, and I pulled the strings down a little bit and just to give it a creepy cute look. Now this one here, I love using these boas. I'm telling you these boas, bows, boas. I love using these things. 
So I just cut the edges. Make sure you cut the thick part of the bow off. I just cut the edges and Oh, excuse me. And putting some um putting them right inside the bulb like I did the jar with the witches the witch jar I call it the witch jar but anyway I'm gonna put them all stuff and feathers in here and I love the orange and black and the black has this really pretty gold like uh, tensils around it so it really gives it really nice shine and I put one of the little bats on top and I put some little ribbon orange ribbon around the top also see quick and easy guys really fast and so cute now again I'm gonna use a boa I call him boa bow boa <laughs> my goodness and I shake it up fluff it out I, so I shake the bulb so I can sh fluff it and see how fluffy it's gonna get in there and now you can add a little more. I put the lid on it. And now I'm just gonna get these assorted, different size googly eyes. Everything came from the Dollar Tree again. And I'm just gluing them all over the place, just wherever I want. So when you do yours, just put them wherever you want and I'm telling you it's so cute I'm making me a little green monster <laughs> so cute there you go now I'm gonna get that black boa and I'm gonna cut a little piece off it and I'm gonna wrap it right around the top with some hot glue. I'm giving my little monster a little trim haircut. <laughs> and if it didn't glue all the way down, just that's fine. Put a little bit more glue, press down, and voila, there you have it. My little green monster. Now this one here, I just got some tool. This tool you can find at the Dollar Tree. And I just cut a bunch of little square pieces and just whatever and put it in there. I mean, it doesn't even have to be perfect cuts. See how I'm just cutting them along and I'm just shoving it right inside that bulb. Shake it up and it's so pretty. It just has like this glittery gold cobweb shimmer it's so pretty well this ribbon i got at the at walmart i did get this ribbon at walmart but you can use any ribbon you like dollar tree does carry a beautiful assortment of different ribbons and i just trim it put a little bit of glue to hold that down very pretty and it's very shimmery shiny <laughs> so now I'm gonna add another one of those bats those bats come in a pack of four and all you do is remove the little clip they pop right off really easy and you just put a little bit of extra glue just to make sure it stays now this one here I use the Waverly white chalk paint and I believe that's sky blue. And I mixed both colors together and just painted the whole entire bowl. Now these little buttons I made out of a foam sheet. And I'm just gluing them right there on the bulb. So cute. Now I'm just getting that painter's black pin you get at Walmart. And I'm just going to make a squiggly mouth. And 
I put little dots on each side of the mouth and made little lines to give it like if its mouth was kind of sewn. I wanted to do a little fun voodoo bulb for Halloween. And I do a little crisscross for the nose. Don't worry if your hand touches it and smears it, all you gotta do is a little bit of touch up with some paint and then redo. Simple as that. So after it dries, I got my red marker. Well, it's painter pen. And it's red, of course. We're gonna color the inside of the mouth. And look at how cute. He's done. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And have a good one. Till next time, guys. It was my pleasure crafting with you. Bye.